Hey guys, it's Matt from Electric All Wheel. Today we are going to add a second battery to this 48 volt, 17 and a half amp hour Hemiway Cruiser. We have the 48 volt, 10 amp hour battery that we use in a lot of our videos and we're like, why not try this again? I think our placement is gonna be right here on the crossbar for the bike. It doesn't quite fit in this space right here on the body of the bike, so we're gonna do that. We're gonna flip this thing over. Jeremy is here, he's gonna actually do the install and I'm gonna try my hand at filming, so we'll see how that goes. We have the electric all-wheel kit for the Hemiway bikes and then we also have another set of cables just in case we need the length to get all the way up here. Should be a good install. It's a nice warm balmy day here in Florida so without further ado we're just gonna get right to it. Jeremy, what do you got in your hands? I have a 40 amp hour Hemiway kit. From Electric All Wheel? From Electric All Wheel. Perfect. Show me the ends of your cables. So right here, we have our XT60 cables here. So those connect to the discharge balancer? Yes, they do. And then you have your connectors for the Hemiway bike, which are important because they're what interface with this cable right here. Yes. So. What we're gonna do today is we're gonna take loose this cable, I know from experience it's this one, and you can actually test it by just kind of jiggling this wire and you'll see it move. We're gonna pop this zip tie right here and then we're gonna pull that out and apart and then we're gonna put the cables in, run them down the uh, seat tube and then connect the battery so that we can test this out. Ready? I'm ready. All right, I'm gonna pop it off. Mm -hmm. Just pull out the other end, there you go. So what I want you to do now is go ahead and grab the power cable connection here okay. that we're gonna inter interconnect with the kit. All right. So beware that you're gonna have to get the other end, so both ends are gonna have to come out. Okay, all right, I'm gonna go for it. Okay, I'm gonna disconnect the battery. All right, All right, let's see. Show us those. This is where we're gonna... Yeah. So those will match. match these, yep. Okay. So you're basically making each yes. end longer. There we go. So what you wanna look for on these faces, if you turn them over, arrow. you'll notice there's an arrow yep. on both of them. So match the points of the arrow. So that's not exactly matching. Yeah, there you go. All right. Perfect. And we're gonna match these. Arrows here. It looks like that one got a little scuffed in the in the body. All right. Is that in? That's in. Forty. So amp. where we're headed right now is we need to get these wires down here. See? There you go. Let's go ahead and pull it all the way through. There you go. Yeah. All right. Looks That's all right. Let's clean. Perfect. All right. Now see this wire here, we want to be on the Same inside. Alright. Excellent. How's that look? Doesn't look too bad. Alright, now what we want to do is figure out what side of the uh, bike the wires need to be on. Okay. So for that, what you're going to do is look at the battery and how it's going to be mounted. Okay. And I'm going to go ahead and take this tripod loose so I can show you. Alright. I know we're going here. All right, you know it's going to be there. You need your strap on this end around the seat post as much as you can. So remember that it's going to be gravity, so bring it right there. So go ahead and loop that through okay. and then make the connection. The other way. There you go. Perfect. Now watch what you're doing there. You want to make sure it's flush. Mm -hmm. Now just go ahead and back wrap it so it velcros itself. 
That'll do. Just leave it. We're okay. going to be messing with it. So get the other set. There it is. Oh. Perfect. Now we know where is the zipper side. The zipper side is towards you. Yes. So we're gonna kind of orient the cables that we drop down towards the zipper side okay. of the bag because we're actually gonna put the balancer inside the bag. All right. All right. All right. So, so go ahead and one. take those, take them both in your hand and don't get them crossed with the other wires. There we go. All right. Got and what we're moving towards is getting them zip tied. Okay. So it looks flush and clean. So we're going to do that likely right up here in the bottom bracket. We're going to bind the two of them and then um, we'll do another one further down closer to the seat or further up because the bike is upside down closer to the seat. And then those cables will run through here Heard. and then out and to that side of the battery. Okay. All right. All right. So, here's your first zip tie. I still want to keep on this side. Right. We got enough length. There, there. Now, just worry about making sure you've taken all the slack out of everything you see all right up here. Up here? Okay. okay. So, you're just making sure all the slack is there when you go to bind them up. It looks like that's all taken out. So, there's, they're not very loose. So, that's good. So, now we're going to try and strap your cables right there up here you think is that a little too far no you like right in here right in here would be good and that's perfect really the most difficult part is going to get the the loop so you may start it down here and then just slide it up okay start your zip tie here and then just do like one click you don't need to worry about all that just one click it you get it There you go, now slide it. Oh, okay. Keep it tight so it's... Now make sure you can get it, there you go. Make sure you can get it your tab, and that looks like it's gonna work right there. So go ahead and pull that tight. Is that okay, it's not gonna affect Yeah, anything? just pull it. Okay. And make sure that end, push that end in. There you go. Excellent. All right, that'll work. Here's another one. And that one's likely going to be down here. We can do, you see this? You want to lip it through here? See if you can get it through there. Nope. Oh, there you go. Perfect. Now, go back to where you were. You were good. Perfect. Make sure. Yeah, if you got your slack, go ahead and pull it tight. Okay. Let's Here's clip your out. clippers. See the flat face? Yes, put it on that side. Yeah, put it on that side and then flatten it out. Perfect. Where's now the one is next to you. It's right there. Good job. Okay, you have now run the cables. What I want you to do right now, the first thing we can do is just plug in the balancer. Just to make sure it works. Just to make sure it works. So you have your cables loose. Here's your balancer. Right there. Just plug in those two cables that you ran. Bring them down here so we can see. Don't hog it off. <clears throat> It doesn't matter, just plug it into the end that works. 
Okay. Let's see. Show me. Got an XT60s connected. All right. Which one is that? By by looking at the balancer, which one did you just plug in? So I plugged in the out. The out. Output. So the out is to the controller. Yes. Now go. That means that this is your battery cable. Go ahead and plug that into one of those ports. Okay. All right. So with that being done, go ahead and set the balancer here. This bike should fire up. So I'm going to go ahead and turn on the power. Let's see. That's good. And then some throttle. And there it is. Perfect. So now we know that the factory battery is in line and working. So that's with the balancer as is. Now we're going to need to unplug the battery that you just plugged in here. And we're going to plug in the second battery instead. Okay. All right, we're off. If you need to unzip it, you can, but just Sorry. be mindful that the battery doesn't fall out. All right, All right. that's it. Just plug that in. Perfect. Try the same thing now? We're gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna go ahead and turn it on. There we go, live, twist that throttle. Perfect. All right, so now we know that we have the second recommended battery that's strapped to the frame is the one that's powering it. This one is your factory battery. Go ahead and plug that into the balancer. Don't let it be braided up and everything. Be mindful of how the wires run up and down the seat post. So make them straight. Just make it look clean. Okay. All right. Now we're going to take this bunch of stuff, right? The balancer, and then we're going to put it in this bag. Let's do it. Unzip it and let's see what's going on. So we know we have space here. Um, but this will be upside down, so the balancer is there. Why don't we go ahead and roll the battery? There's that. So you've rolled the battery. Okay. Now I want you to just get the balancer in there clean. So here, make sure it's not braided or anything in there. Yes. Good. Make sure everything's flush and clean. No, not on the side. We're looking at spacing, so over the top. You still got to be able to zip it all up, right? So the wires can't, there you go. That's what we're talking about. Now use your zipper to help hold everything in place. Don't struggle with it. Make sure it fits, right? If you're cramping, push this down. If you're struggling, there's a problem. So don't make it rip. There. Perfect. So the balancer is now on the bottom side of the battery. Got your cabling in. Let's go ahead and turn this bike over. Right now, all you're doing is just trying to make it flush and clean. With the Velcro, you'll use the straps kind of hide a little bit more. to strap it in, right? For yeah. stability. All right, Jeremy, good job for your first time. We just added a second 10 amp hour battery in this 48 volt system to bring the bike to 48 volt, 27.5 amp hours. It's gonna have all the range for that 750 watt rear hub. How easy do you think it was? I thought it was relatively easy, honestly. Didn't take much, didn't take too long. It was already it's pretty much plug and play. So my, always when I think about it, the one thing that I really hate is setting up and getting the bike where it can actually film it and everybody can see it well. If you're on your own, uh, I would lay this thing down on its side. That's what I would do. And then we'll see where it goes. 
remember to protect your handles if you do that but other than that the only reason we really had to use a rack was so we could get a good angle so everybody could see what was going on that is the Hemiway kit, the 40 amp electric all wheel dual battery discharge balancer kit for Hemiway, Rad, Magicycle, and I believe there are a few other brands. We see them as people request them, yeah. but relatively easy, right? Yes. They're shrink wrap, they're the weatherproof connection, so it just went in super smooth. If you haven't already, give us a like and subscribe. Thank Jeremy for getting on this video and doing that install. We really appreciate it. We're, we're gonna try and have you do some more. He's got an Aventon on the way, so we're gonna try that one out. That's the burnt out one that looks like hell. Uh, it's gonna be good. Uh, check out our Instagram, Facebook page, YouTube. Give us a like and subscribe if you haven't already. We'll talk to you next time.